Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Randomness here and today I'll be showing you one way of how to overcome the Bluetooth keyboard issue on the M1 Mac Mini. With the introduction of any new technology comes initial problems that are usually corrected over time with various updates. Since the new M1 Mac Mini was introduced last year, there have been numerous reports about various Bluetooth connection issues. Despite being told that fixes are in the pipeline, at the time of recording this video, there is still no fix. For me, this has resulted in an issue with my Bluetooth keyboard not being able to connect to the Mac Mini until after the login screen, which is a problem because how am I meant to log in without a keyboard to type in my password? When I used my old Bluetooth keyboard, it connected immediately as soon as the Mac Mini turned on and prior to the login screen. But when I purchased the Logitech K380 Bluetooth keyboard, which I'll link to my review up there, it wouldn't connect at the login screen. So for the time I was having to revert to the old keyboard just to log in, only to change back to the new one. The dilemma left me wondering whether or not to return the new keyboard and just stick with the old one. You can imagine just how annoying it is having to constantly do this, so I'm going to show you my workaround method that allows me to overcome the Bluetooth issue for now and add a virtual keyboard to the login page. Just to note, this will only work for Bluetooth issues with the keyboard. I'm currently using an entry-level M1 Mac Mini on the public beta version of macOS Monterey, but this method does work on the current official OS. First you'll need to navigate to System Preferences. Select Users and Groups. Choose Login Options. You may need to grant permission to make those changes. Select Accessibility Options. Enable Accessibility Keyboard and click Apply. This, when you log in, will display a virtual keyboard on the screen for you to manually type your password navigating the keys using the mouse. Not the most ideal solution to the issue as some Bluetooth devices may have this problem while others don't. Hopefully this will be something corrected in later macOS updates. I hope that helped you and allows you to continue using your favourite Bluetooth keyboards on your M1 Max without having the need to purchase additional equipment that may or may not work. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.